today we are going to use what in our 10 frame? I know it's cubes. It says cubes. It says cubes. It says use cubes. Draw to show you one work. Okay. Honey has 10 cubes. How could she arrange them to show 10? What am I going to do? What do you need to do? Put what? Okay, very good. You were exactly right. We need to put squares or cubes in here to fill the box. Please do not do this to your sheet yet because you are looking um, to my example so you can learn. Okay. Did this make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it did. Now, down here, what you are going to do is you're going to draw 10 cubes again, but in a different way. So can I do it exactly like this? No, we have no, to. No, I cannot. We have to do it in a different way. So now, you can get out your hot colorful page. With our first page, I saw a lot of different ways we can make 10 all of you are right. I did one of the ways that I saw was this one. Is that a way to make ten? No. Sure, it is. But whenever I see a ten frame, I automatically know in my brain that there are how many in there. Oh, there are 10. Okay, so when a 10 frame is completely full, I automatically think 10. When I see this line, I usually want to count them, but today this line is going to mean 10. Okay, what I call this line is a quick draw. Because, how long would it take me to draw 10 cubes? Not a lot. It would take us quite a bit of time, wouldn't it? So, in order to save us some time, instead of having to draw every single cube every single time, sure. all you have to do is draw a line, and that's going to show you that you have how many? 10. Ten. So, I have how many right here? Ten. You are exactly right. I have 10 ones, which equals 110. So, right here, do you see this blank space? Yes. I want you to draw a quick draw of 10. That should take us two seconds. One person's already done. Uh -huh. Oh, that's not how you quick draw 10. Very good, very good. What did we just learn? Very good, very good. Is that quick? How do you do quick? Good job. Is that quick? No. Why did you just draw a line? Because you just asked me to use a Very good. Okay, guys. You are not going to draw 10 little squares anymore because that's going to take a lot of time. What I want you to do for a quick picture is to just draw a line, and that's going to represent 10. Okay? Then, if I have any extra ones, then I can draw my extra ones on the side. But for right now, we don't have any, um, we don't have any extras. Okay. So let's look at the first example. 11. This number is in the 10th place. So how many quick draw 10s am I going to draw? One. Because it tells us one. 
But then the number or the digits on the right is in that one's place. So how many extra one. ones am I going to draw? One. So there's one tenth. See, I drew one line and I drew one circle. Do you guys remember that from yesterday? The tens place and the ones place. The tens place is always going to be on this left side, and the ones place is always going to be on the right side. My ones place is going to be all these extra ones, right? And my tens is bigger. Okay? Let's do another one together. What is this place? Ten. Tens. How many tens am I going to draw? One. Do a quick job. Awesome. Okay. Then this digit is in the one. ones place. So how many extra ones am I going to draw? One. Two. Three. Two. It says two, guys. Two. So I'm going to draw two little circles. How many tenths did you draw first grade? One. One. How many extra ones Two. did you draw? Two. Two. Do you understand what we're doing? Yes. Each yes. side is going to stay the same. Do you know how to quick draw now? Yes. Yeah. Isn't it a lot faster to draw that line than to draw ten circles? One, two, three. 